If you would have told me to call 911, I would have called 911 and tell them to report. If you said to call 911, have them report to the house. I would have done just that and got clarity afterwards. So you would have gotten a voicemail from Dr. Murray that would have said, call 911, and you wouldn't have called him back? I would have called him back, but I would have called 911. I well, wouldn't think he was joking. I would have taken well, it serious. Would, would you have called him back first? I would have called 911. If he said, left the message and said, Michael, call 911, have him come to the house immediately, I would have done just that and then called him back. So you would have done that if he'd have left the message? Yes, sir. Right? You wouldn't have tried to in involve yourself into what was happening first. Could you? You would that? not call and try to figure out what was happening first. Dr. Murray, as Mr. Jackson's doctor, if he called me and told me to call 911 and have him come to the house, I would have done just well, that. Well, the question wasn't whether he would call you to tell you that. Mm -hmm. The question is whether you received a voicemail message telling you to do that. So, the objection is sustained. Re-ask the question, please. The question is whether you would have done that based solely on a voicemail message from Dr. Murray. I would have took that serious, yes, sir. Right. And you would have done that? Yes, sir. All right. So when you called Dr. Murray back, you actually spent some time talking to him, trying to figure out what was happening? Yes, sir. Right? And okay. That's the answer. Yeah, okay. Right. Yes, sir. Because you wanted to know what was happening, right? Yes, sir. This was an unusual occurrence. Right? Mr. Jackson's called for Dr. Murray before. Well, was it an unusual occurrence for Dr. Murray to call you and say, we need security right away, we need help? Was that not unusual? I will repeat, he didn't ask for security, he asked for someone. Was it a usual occurrence for Dr. Murray to call you and leave a voicemail like that to tell you that Mr. Jackson needed, needed help right away? Was that unusual? That wasn't unusual, but getting a call that day about having a bad reaction, that was the first time that ever happened. Well, However, so I have received a call before from Dr. Murray if Mr. Jackson was hurt doing something or he needs medicine. That was normal. So well, that call... The, okay, yes, so, so, so the only thing that was unusual about Dr. Murray's phone call to you was that he said that did he had a bad reaction? He said he had a bad reaction. Well, I know what he said. Yes, sir. He said he had a bad reaction. Get here immediately. And I know myself, I didn't hear. It. It's 911. Call 911, hurry, something. I didn't, I didn't get none of that. I got, he had a bad reaction. Come so, to the house immediately. So your testimony today is there was nothing unusual about that phone call at all to you? I never said that, sir. Well, it, was it or wasn't it? Yes, sir. All right. You had never received a phone call like that before from not, Dr. Murray? Not in that tone. No, sir. Well, what tone was that? The, the tone that we heard in the voicemail. You said that you had, you had been, to, had you been to the house earlier that day? 1 a.m. in the morning, I believe the time, or 12 something when we was dropping Mr. Jackson off after the rehearsal. Are you normally at that house during the day? Yes, sir. It wouldn't be unusual for you to be at that house at 12 o'clock noon? In the afternoon? Mm -hmm. No, sir. It wouldn't be unusual for Dr. Murray to call you first in the event of an emergency? Uh, could you react that, please? It would not be unusual if Dr. Murray were to call you first in the event of an emergency. Would that not be unusual? That was my question. The, the problem is the negatives uh, and the use of unusual. It, it could, <laughs> is, could you react, please? Yes. W would, would it surprise you? Would it be strange for Dr. Murray to call you in the event of emergency at the house? First, as yeah, the first, first person he called. First, yeah, yeah. If Mr. Jackson's dying. You would. All right. To me, so, personally, and it wouldn't be unusual for for him to call you and expect you to be at the house at noon. He can call me expecting to be at the house. Yes, sir. But on this particular day, you were not. No, sir. I was not at that time. <clears throat> In fact, one of the things you told Dr. Murray when he called you was. I'm not at the house. I'm not at the Carrollwood house. I right? told him I'm, I'm downtown. He asked right. where was I. I said downtown. And the first thing he said was, where are you? To, my, to the best of my knowledge. All right. You, you, you testified that you called Alvarez first, or I'm sorry, you called Fahim first, Muhammad, Fahim Muhammad, and then you called Alberto Alvarez. Yes, sir. Okay. And you testified that these were the two people who were most familiar with Mr. Jackson. Is that, just, is that what you said? I looked security, yes, sir. All right. Uh, how familiar are you with Fahim Muhammad? I'm very familiar with Fahim Muhammad. You've known him for how long? I would say close to 10 years. All right. And how familiar are you with Alberto Alvarez? Uh, I knew him a little less, about five years or so. Um, they Were they working security for Mr. Jackson 
uh, and to